Buenos dias, everybody. I feel so much better today. My back still hurts quite a bit, but I'm moving a lot better, which makes me so happy. Got a good night's sleep, and uh, we're in for another good one today. Today we're gonna go up Volcan Fuego. Not all the way to the top, because it's active and, you know, we would die. But we're gonna go up a saddle, and then we're gonna camp tonight. We're gonna camp on Acatenango. I did this a few years ago. It is beautiful. It is also a full moon. I'm excited. How do you feel today? Better than the day before, the first day, the day yesterday, today is even better. Woo! Yeah, feeling great. Yeah. Feeling ready to climb another volcano. Feeling ready to make some really good virtual reality cinema and enjoying the morning explosions, you know? The morning explosions. It happens almost every single day here in Guatemala. A lot of times the churches just shoot off fireworks. To let everybody know they're open for business. Yesterday we came from there. You can't really see the volcano. It's stuck in clouds. And today we're going that way. Today is my last day of being 39 years old. Tomorrow is my 40th birthday. Can you believe that? It's crazy. I remember when my mom was 40, I thought she was so old. <laughs> now I'm 40 and I, I don't feel old. I feel young, which is a good thing. And I'm very grateful that I have a body that allows me to do this kind of stuff even when my back hurts really bad. Maybe that's why my back flared up, just to remind me, hey Ryan, you're 40, have fun. As my good friend Dana would say, live love. That's the theme of my life and my 40th year, live love. We can all do that. We can all do a whole lot more of that. Living and loving, it's pretty simple. Sometimes we humans complicate life so much, but it's all just about being nice to people, working hard, being a good human, leaving this planet better than you, than you got here. The hike today isn't gonna be all that far, only like 10 kilometers, six miles, but it's very steep. And we're gonna camp at about 12,000 feet, so we're gonna gain quite a bit of elevation. I love this modern technology. Not that long ago, all the guys would just use maps. Now you can. There's a special app that tells you exactly where to walk. When I go hiking in Colorado and I see a energy bar wrap around the trail, usually I'll pick it up. I'll pick up all the trash I see along the way. But if you tried to do that in Guatemala, you would need a lot of trash bags. There is tons of trash here. And I'm not trying to deter you from coming to Guatemala. It is amazing. But it is one of the realities. There is a lot of trash in this country, on the sides of roads and trails. Pretty much anywhere humans go, there is trash. You know the thing about volcanoes? They're really steep. Man, we really haven't been putting in that much mileage. But man, these volcanoes are, they're hard. They are difficult. And my quads are super sore. Many of you have heard me talk about this before, but in these moments when it's really hard, I call this the gratitude march. And this is when it really hurts. You wanna keep your mind off the pain, so you wanna think about some good thoughts. So with every step you take, you think about somebody you love. You know, you can even love chocolate chip cookies. That's fine. Whatever you wanna say that you're grateful for, you just go for it. So right now, I'll start off with, I'm grateful for super smooth Guatemalan beans. They are amazing. They're beyond blended. It's like this silky smooth texture and I love them. Holy moly. Hard to keep it balanced. Ooh. These vines are kind of handy to grab onto sometimes. This might be some of the hardest 
uphill hiking I've ever done. It is really steep and slippery. So what does the last third look like? Uh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's harder than this, he says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you are exposed to the sun and this loose gravel. <laughs> All right. Poco a poco. <laughs> David just said that the tourists, the people that do the Fuego Volcano go a different way than this way because this way is too hard. <laughs> I'm glad we chose the hard way. We don't want life to be too easy. I'm sorry if this is the most boring video ever. We're just walking, walking, and walking, and footsteps and walking. <laughs> out of the jungle here soon. Ugh. These roots are lifesavers. <laughs> yeah. We're getting close. Yeah. It sure does seem like we're going super duper slow, but you can see way down there, that's the town where we started at this morning. And it looks pretty damn far away. Poco a poco. These climbs are hard. These volcanoes, we're, we're not going the tourist route. We're not getting driven halfway up and then like summiting. We are starting from the bottom and going to the top unless it's an active volcano, in which case we turn before it gets too dangerous. Um, and it's some really, <laughs> it's some of the steepest climbing that I've done. Harder than I think any 14er I've done. Yeah, you're literally pulling yourself up the mountain a lot of the time. I'm glad Allie thinks this is tough because I've been crying to the camera the whole time. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, this is like running up a slide full of sand. It is a full body workout, a lot of core, it's not just your legs. You think, oh, if I have strong legs, I can just power up this. It has a lot to do with your balance. My balance is a little off right now because my back is effed up. That's Fuego, that's the big boy that keeps on having explosions. It'd be cool if it did it, right? Now, oh, it doesn't take orders. We'll get it another time. Ooh, it's a little windy up here now. Oh boy. Ah! It feels like a bomb is going off. The earth shakes and it shoots out all these rocks. <laughs> And they didn't land too far from where we are. <laughs> volcano there, volcano there, volcano there. Whoa, did you hear that? Oh my goodness. Hello. Hi there. All right, we did it. High five, Robin. Oh yeah! High five, that Allie. Was survived. Oh, by any lava. That was a tough day. My legs feel like jelly. That was the biggest elevation gain day I've ever done. 8,773 feet in eight miles. <laughs> that was insane. What's really cool now is that the porters brought us up some tents. Thank you, Old Town Outfitters, hooking this all up. And uh, we're going to have quite the view 
of Volcan Agua right there. And then right through the trees, we got Fuego, and hopefully tonight it'll be putting on a show. Really cold out. Really cold. That's why Ali's wearing a sleeping bag. <laughs> it's really nice and warm in the tent, but you miss the views. Look, look at this. What's, look what's going on right now. to sleep outside last night under the stars so I could check out the beautiful blood moon and the explosions from Fuego and Mother Nature put on quite a show and now I get the sunrise check it out there's the sun here comes the sun Doo -doo -doo -doo. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Ryan. <laughs> you have a volcano going off next to you. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. And today's my 40th birthday. What? This is quite a nice place to wake up on your 40th birthday. Or any day, for that matter. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. Happy birthday, Ryan. Thank you. I don't really feel any older, but I definitely look older. My face looks pretty beat up right now. <laughs> That's what happens when you're dehydrated and you sleep at 12,000 feet. Oh, some nice hot tea. <laughs> Buenos dias, David. Buenos dias. How you feeling? Uh, very good. How do you sleep, Robin? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but you're smiling. But it was great. You're smiling. <laughs> it was just wonderful regardless. <laughs> yeah. Look yeah, at that view of you. you. Look at this view. Outside. You're standing here drinking coffee with a volcano in the background. Blissful. <laughs> Did you really think I wasn't going to bring this? <laughs> you can't bring much when you're carrying everything on your back, but you can always bring a shaver. This is a better view. All right, we're all packed up and ready to go. Agua is here. Fuego is here. And the rest of the team is here. Let's go to the top of this one, Acatenango. It's gonna be a lot of this till we get to the top. We'll see you there. en realidad para mí eh, son un círculo de vida pulmones de la tierra pero tal como pueden dar muerte generan vida eso me encanta los volcanes <risa> 